Hello folks, this is Marcos again, bringing to you one more tutorial. If you watched my last tutorial, you saw that we created this um, concept, this alarm file, and we concentrated um, in this part here, where it's possible to set this time picker, selecting the hour that we want, and then we get to this page, right? But then I, I talked there that uh, we were going to do this uh, notification in the next time. So here I am to do that. So I will just do a little and really faster recap. So for those who didn't watch my last tutorial, it's going to be possible to understand what we did together. So it's named Animating Time Pickers. We did all of this work over here. We created those components. Then we created this uh, test area. And then finally, we configured our um, alarm, our notification. I will run it just to show the prototype working one more time. And then we can jump into today's tutorial. Just really quickly, just to recap. So here we have this mockup as well. I showed how to do that. And here we configured like, oh, I want my alarm to run when it's gonna be 5.20 p.m. for instance, then I hit here, save, and I go to this page. So we designed all those cool and modern application. And today it's time to have that uh, message over here I told you before. There are two kinds of messages that appears here. Uh, that is the toast notification and as well the snack bar. We are going to do the toast one and then in the future when we will be back to uh, material design stuff because now we are here in this section prototyping. So we did a lot of prototypes. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven so far. And counting today, one, we are going to have even more. But then, one time, we will come back to this section here uh, material design patterns. So we will create some notifications as well. But don't worry, we will have time to do that. And then we can enjoy a lot of good content that I will create for you guys. Okay, now it's time to the toast one. I will run these uh, prototypes so we can see. Uh, it's good to see working, you know, so let's play here, present. Then it's gonna take a little time to run. It's normal, Figma works like this. I'm going to have the exactly time, like 5.20 p.m. just to be consistent with the last one. Then we click here, save. So we see this notification and then we don't see anymore. And to do that, so we can go in different directions. They are slightly similar, but they are different. But today in this tutorial, this time, I'm going to show you just one. And then in the future, who knows, we can do uh, different ways. So let's get started. Okay, so I don't want you guys to uh, redo all the job we did because we can enjoy um, what we did in the last tutorial. So we just need to come here, select these both uh, screens, Control C to copy. Then it's always necessary to create a new page, right? I created already, so I don't need to create anymore. I will come here, paste, right? Then I will organize just like this, just to show you exactly what I did. So I have this page, right? Now I will duplicate this one and I will move a little far just to have more room to work. Then I press Ctrl D one more time and it will be just like this. So I could create a component for this message, but I won't. I just want to have some normal one, some element, not a component. I could create, but I won't for this time. So um, that's okay here, here. I don't need to do anything, but here I will zoom in. 
and I will create the uh, notification over here. So let's make our toast message. I will press T for text, click here, and I will uh, type the information that I want to have here. I want to inform the user that the notification was added successfully. So I can type something like I did over here, alarm configured to this time, for example. So I can copy from here and then I paste it here. You can't see because it's white, white on white. It's impossible to see, but we have a little trick to use in these cases. We can press and hold shift and then we can hit O. So we can see the outlines, the wireframe outlines. So let's centralize, okay? And then if you didn't type that, you can type right now, type this, alarm configured, or for example, you could have something like uh, alarm added. It's, it's okay too. I'm gonna work with both of them for a while. And then what I want to do over here, I will press Shift A. So now you can see the auto layout I'm gonna do exactly the same thing over here, Shift A. We got the auto layout here too. So I can select the te text inside of the auto layout or if I click here, as you can see, we can select the auto layout. And also I can go to the um, layer panel in, and here I can select text and the auto layout. I can type here toast for instance and I can change this name to text or notification if you prefer here same one text and toast to be consistent right i told you that we were not going to create um components but we could right we could so let's do a little more of work in here i want to um let's see I want to be in this design uh, section, right? I want to select the auto layout and I want to have some color over here. Even you can't see, but the color is still here. And I can select this way too and apply some color here in fill. Even you don't see, like I told you before, the color is here because when I press Shift O, I see all that I did, okay? Now we can select both of them, we can come here and to make this uh, border radius a little round. This color is not the right one, I was just testing something here. Uh, notifications, they, they can, they should actually inform the user but not to be so uh, bold if you know what I'm trying to say. Not catching all the attention, something like this, just a notification because the user is seeing here that something was set and then it's just to reinforce what the user just did, okay? Now, I I talked, we were not going to make components, but let's have one, for example, toast slash uh, large and this one, toast uh, small, something like this, because sometimes I plan things, but when I start working, creating the content, I sometimes think like, oh, maybe it's gonna be a good idea to go this way rather than going that way. It's normal. Okay, now we have this, and we just need to create component, okay? And then we select this one, create a component. We have those names here, those small, Toast large, so they are um, a main components, right? So we don't work with them properly. We, we just need to move them outside. Let's create some frame over here, just to place our components. Something like this is gonna be fine. Then I select both of them and I'll align the way that I, I think it's going to be better. Can centralize 
they are not centralized. I don't know the reason, but let's see separate. Yeah, separate, it works. Cool. A little more room. So now I, I can use them. It's possible to use. Like, let me just um, components name components properly this screen. And now I showed you tons of time how to insert uh, components. We can come here, like those. We have both. This one here I created for another tutorial. So we just need to drag and drop like this. And we can align, we can measure the distance like this, for example, 32, 32, to be consistent. So we have this alarm added in this case. And we created two, right? So we can just swap here. We have this large and we have this small, right? This is some way to use, but there are other ways. For example, we can Combine it in as variant, for example. Let's see what happens. So they are combined as variant. Let me go to the layer panel. So we have toast now inside is small and large. And then I can select it here. I can change this property, for example, having size, for instance. I don't know if that's good or not. So let's see what happens here when we combine as variant. They are easier to change, see? Just two variants, I don't need to open it here and try to look for what I have and then it's gonna be just easier. Just a thing here to change like this. And there are more ways of combining those elements. For example, this is not the matter of this tutorial, right? But we could, for example, change. Let's suppose that I want a small one to be the first. We can just drag and drop like this. Now, when I come back to the component, see, the small one on top, the large one after that. So we have a lot of possibilities and we have even more. But like I said before, I wasn't going to uh, make components this time, but I decided on the way that I would like to make it. And now we are here. Okay, good. So let's go ahead. Let's concentrate in the matter of today's tutorial. So we have this um, notification over here, right? Then I'm gonna copy from here. I will select this frame and I will paste. Then I want to, uh, to change the opacity here in the pass through, not in the fill, okay? Pass through. I'm gonna go with zero and then I will select and I will move a little down like the position in Y I can come here and diminish you can see but the thing is here like diminishing a little then I will copy this transparent element and I will paste it here now I can already um, configure my triggers. So from here, I will click here prototype. I have one already here. I'm going to remove all of them, all of the interactions to do from scratch. So this save button will connect this frame on click. Okay. We can set different sorts of animations. I'm going to go with smart and mate. I like this one. It's fair enough. Then um, this page will uh, connect the next one, but not on click after delay, just like this. We change on click by after delay, and let's set it here one millisecond, it will be instantly. And then we'll, we'll do the same thing connecting this frame to this one, but now this time after delay also, but I, I want to have a little more time because the time that the user will read this message, okay? So I'm gonna configure here something like 2000 milliseconds. And now I can uh, test my prototype. I want to have some uh, starting point over here. I'm gonna call uh, toast flow, something like this, you decide as always. So let's wait, Figma is processing. 
and now it's time to test so let's uh, pick up the time we want in our um, uh, time picker I explained to you that we need to go with this uh, 5 20 p.m. because we set that in the other page right then we click we see this message appears and disappears exactly the way that we played it before we can test that again pressing R to restart the flow and then let's do the same thing exactly what we did before 5 20 p.m. save see alarm configured to uh, 5 20 p.m. just like this okay guys this tutorial is over I really hope that you appreciated that and I hope to see you in the next one Stay safe, see you there, bye bye.